Uh, yes, uh, indeed. Uh, this is uh, the UTM manifesto. You had to miss uh, detailing uh, down all uh, the wish lists, if I put that way, where he's saying that uh, uh, fraud and corruption will be rooted out uh, under uh, his administration, if maybe given a chance to rule uh, most of the municipalities in South Africa. As uh, he also mentioned that, uh, yeah, in the old time, but this municipality, there was a, a, a time where this municipality uh, was uh, under and administration uh, for almost two days and then uh, that was also that was challenged by the opposition party within the ANC and then he said that uh, this is really a shame because it cannot work like this whereby uh, people's money are being uh, abused and misappropriated by the ruling party especially to the in the, in the district municipalities in the Eastern Cape he also uh, mentioned a lot about uh, local economic development where he's saying that uh, he will focus more uh, on the, on developing or uh, uh, capacitating uh, emerging uh, business people where they will be able to run their own businesses other than uh, making sure that uh, uh, they run out of uh, opportunities in terms of businesses. He also made sure that uh, uh, road and infrastructure is on the wish list or on the manifesto because he wanted uh, a road that are really... Uh, are usable friendly, if I put that way. So there's a lot that uh, General Bantu Olomisa uh, just said. Yeah, he mentioned a lot about uh, uh, skills that development. He mentioned a lot about uh, uh, water and sanitation in the rural areas because that is exactly where water is needed the most in the rural areas. You will remember uh, in Mpanduli, uh, in Meleni, and other areas, in fact, uh, in, in the Eastern Cape, water is a scarce uh, resource, and then they want water, they want sanitation, they want jobs, they want uh, poverty eradication uh, programs. Back to you, to study. Yeah, look, a lot was said with regards to also stimulating the local economy, but also with regards to holding councillors accountable as well. How did that land with those who attended this manifesto launch? They like that because really this is what is a, is, is a problem in the Eastern Cape, as well as in this region, or Tambo. Those who are in authority are not uh, brought into into books. They are not, uh, even those who are arrested, they are not uh, given uh, their time uh, to serve maybe sentence for what for the wrongdoing they have they've conducted, they've committed. But he's saying that uh, he will make sure that if maybe there is cor corruption in one of the municipalities, those responsible will be be taken to court or maybe to they will be brought to book then the voters or maybe the UTM supporters uh, they like that because it's exactly what is happening all over the country fraud and corruption and people that are not uh, taken to task for what they are doing Kuleko Nyembezi, live for us in the Eastern Cape, Tata, to be precise. We thank you very much indeed for your reporting. No doubt we'll catch up with you a little later on.